Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Malacanang says motorcycle back riding is now allowed in principle. Palace spokesman Harry Rocky says the Transportation Department is now in talks with other concerned agencies about allowing pillion riding. Rocky says if approved, the National Task Force on COVID-19 will issue guidelines on how to prevent coronavirus transmission in back riding. Pinapayagan na in principle ang back riding upon the approval of the requirements na isaset ng technical working group. Antay-antay na lang po muna at baka pwede nang mapayagan ang back riding. Now here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The Commission on Audit says it did not find losses of 154 billion pesos in any of its audited financial statements on PhilHealth of, or rather PhilHealth in the past five years. The COA reports is in response to a request made by PhilHealth President Ricardo Morales shortly after talking to the agency's helm. Amid this, a palace spokesman Harry Roque and PhilHealth's Morales continue to lock horns. In a presser this morning, the palace official said he is leaving it to Morales if he thinks the supposed corruption in PhilHealth should stay that way. And shortly after announcing it's COVID-free again, Cagayan Province reports a new coronavirus case. The patient who lives in Santa Ana will be admitted at the Cagayan Valley Medical Center. Now, for more updates, please follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. You may also visit onenews.ph for more in-depth analysis. And likewise, catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.